Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how we can connect two different cloud storage and synchronize the object. So in this video, I'm going to take two cloud storage, one as OCI object storage and another is AWS S3. You may need to synchronize the data or the objects from OCI object storage to AWS S3 constantly. How this can be done via Oracle integration, that is what we are going to look at it in this whole video. Please be with me by the end of this video to get most of the things. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to use Oracle integration. We will build a schedule integration and in this schedule integration, we are going to use the object storage native action, which is provided by Oracle integration, which will be listing the objects from object storage, loop over and then push into AWS S3 bucket. So we will have the native connector of AWS S3 meaning the AWS S3 adapter we have, we are going to leverage the same. And after it is connected, we are going to push all the objects in the AWS S3. And after the object is success successfully pushed, we are going to archive the objects from object storage. So as a prerequisite, you must have the OCI object storage bucket and you should have the OCI tenancy also, you must have the AWS account where you should have the S3 bucket and you must have AWS access key and secret key to create AWS S3 connection. So somebody from the AWS team must have created this access key and secret key. I will let you know how this can be done. And then we will create a bucket in and you should have the bucket in AWS also. So these are the things that you must have before you start building that integration. So let's begin and see how this integration can be achieved. So let's go to the AWS S3 first of all to show you how do you create secret keys. So you have to come here and go to the security credentials. From the security credential, you simply say create access key where you say click and then create access key. It will create the access key and will give the secret key which you need to copy. So I already have it. I'm not creating it now. I already have this access key ID and secret key I have copied in my notepad which I am going to use. So I'm not creating it again. And of course you should have some policies also created for the S3 bucket so that connection can be created successfully. So I may have created um, some policy, S3 policy. Uh, maybe I can show you somewhere all type customer managed. See S3 policy I have created. So in this policy, I have given permission to list. See, I have selected um, full list list permission management. So these are the policies you can see policy entity attached where I can see permission. So maybe if I do add it, you will see basically we have given the list access permission so these are the permission basically we have given or oh, better you go to the visual yeah so we have given all the list permission read permission write permission otherwise your connection will not be created so to create the connection successfully guys you must have the list action permission at least otherwise your connection will not be created so make sure you have created this s3 policy Okay, good. Now then I will go to the S3 here and will show you I have one bucket also, which has been created here, leave this. And in this US East region, you see US hyphen East hyphen region, there's a one bucket called tax upper bucket. And we don't have any object yet. That is first step. The second is I will go to the OCI from where I'm going to get the data. So you see here, I have a storage here and then buckets. Under buckets, I will have a bucket called tax upper bucket. 
and where we have one object for now. Now I am going to copy, move this from OCI to this AWS bucket. Okay, so let's begin and go to the integration now. So what I will do first, I will create a connection with AW Amazon S3 bucket and let's say AWS S3 connection, which is only in work as of now. And let's say create. When you say create here, it will ask the AWS reason. The AWS reason would be this, where the your bucket resides. AWS, okay, this one. And same thing you have to choose here also. And then you have to provide the access key and then secret key, which you have created. Let me copy and then paste it here quickly. All right, and let's say test. If all your access key secret key is correct, then your connection will be tested successfully and save your connection. And I am ready to use this connection closet. After that, we are going to build a schedule-based integration to sync objects between OCI object, object store, object store to AWS S3 and create. Now, here, first of all, we are going to list. Okay, let the integration to be open. So here, what I will do, first of all, I will use the native object storage connection here, or CI object storage connection. And let's say list objects. And from where, what I want, I want to manage the objects. And then I want to list the objects from which compartment, this compartment, and from which bucket, tax upper bucket. So it will list everything automatically. Continue and finish. Now, I am going to loop over, loop over the objects here. And let's say list objects, list object responses, and let's say objects. Click outside. Then I am also using again object storage connection to read, to download the object. Download object. And I want to manage objects and download object from which compartment, this compartment, and then which bucket, tax upper bucket, continue and finish. Yeah. So now it will take your bucket name, not bucket name, sorry, the object name that you want to download, which I will take it from here, the name, validate. So this will download your object from OCI. After it is done, what I need to do, I need to use my AWS S3 connection to upload the object. Upload object. Now here I will use the object action. Here I will say put object because I want to put the objects continue and then it will ask the bucket name. So here the bucket name is this and put it here and let's say continue and let's say finish. It will not discover the bucket automatically. That's okay. Continue and finish. Map. And here, request mapper, download object response, stream reference. You have to put this stream reference to stream reference. And then here, under parameter, you have to provide the name which you have. Validate and clause. Now, after that, we are going to archive the, not archive, I will simply delete the OCI object store or OCI objects or meaning the objects from buckets. Let's say archive.
object. What do you want? Manage object. Delete object. This guy. Bucket. Continue. And finish. So you have to give the object name to be deleted. Template parameter. Object name which you want to delete. Name. Validate. And clause that's it now let's say enable the identifier here start time clause now i am done and i can simply save this integration and i can run this integration from here also all right done. so you can play with this integration from Canvas itself, which will switch your integration to the view mode, activate integration, get endpoint details, and then you can run. Let's wait. Okay, sometime this action takes time. So what you can do, you can simply refresh it. If it does not work, you can go back and then test your integration as you do on your own. So this has been activated. Simply say run and then run. So we have one object in my this bucket or CI bucket and there is no, I'll refresh it. The processing complete successfully. If I come here, if I refresh it, no object. If I come here to the AWS 3, AWS S3 and refresh it, you will see this PDF has been downloaded here. Uploaded here, I mean. So this is how you can synchronize the objects between, between OCI object storage to AWS S3. So that's all about this. And I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.